Good day, everyone. It's the Bordeaux Rose here. I'm coming at you to talk to you about this elephant in the room. I cut all my hair off, girl. All of my hair off. And we're going to do, we're going to finish doing my makeup. I already put my <laughs> foundation here. I just kind of did a quick, simple eye. I'm not even done with it. Um, but use my little Tati Beauty um, dupe here. I mean, Walmart really did the thing with this. Like, I don't know who was here first, but who was here first? Sound off, you know, all y'all gossip people or channels or whoever. I don't know who watches my videos, but do some research. Who was first? This looked like some stealing going on. <laughs> but anyway, so let's talk about my hair. Now, now, now listen. I went natural like four, four years ago, just about four years ago. And, um, I completely cut all of my hair off and I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with relaxes. Cause I have very fine hair in nature. So I just, uh, well, now I know it's nature. I just assume that my hair was fine because I had been getting relaxers all my life. So that's what I thought, you know? Um, my face is so much whiter than my body because, um, sunscreen, if you were wondering, <laughs> but anyway, um, so basically I, um, cut my hair off because I just was like, you know what? Maybe it's the relaxers making my hair so fine. So I cut my hair off completely bald. I did not, I tried transitioning at one point. But that just transitioning is, my hair don't like transitioning. Even when I like have a relaxer and I wait too long to actually um, relax my hair, my hair begins to break. Like it's going to break off. So I don't understand people that can hold their um, relaxer or stretch their relaxer out for five and six months. And they only relax twice a year. And I don't know how you guys do that, but my hair cannot like the first four to five weeks, my hair is like, you better relax me. But I try to hold on. I try to take care of it so that my hair is not getting so processed so often. But anyway, so basically, um, I got tired of being natural. I got tired of the maintenance. I got tired. I was just like, you know what? I need a change. And I decided to chop all of my hair off. So I chopped all of my hair off. I went natural. I was natural for about three years, going on four years. And I um, got tired of that, got tired, like I said, got tired of the maintenance and everything. And um, I relaxed. About six months ago, I think, I relaxed my hair. I, don't quote me on the months, but I know it was months ago. It hasn't even been a year. So I relaxed my hair. I did a video about it. Go check that out. Um, and, um, you know, it was great. I loved it. I was like, oh. Being relaxed is amazing. I was so excited about it and I'm still excited about it. Just being able to, you know, like basically, you know, wrap your hair and just go to sleep and not having to worry about, oh God, I got a co-wash. Oh God, I got a deep condition. I mean, you still got a deep condition. Don't get it twisted, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel so alarming and so mandatory when your hair is relaxed you know you do have the deep condition but it's not such a chore because you don't have so such a big volume of hair like so big and you'd have to be sections and child i could put that deep conditioner on my hand go like this and keep it moving okay but i always had short hair when i was younger always had a short haircut when i was in my 20s early 30s I just always had a short haircut and when I relaxed my hair it went back to being th fine and thin again um because my hair is just fine and thin it's very fine very thin very limp you know when it's long um and I was like you know what the other I had been w looking to cut my hair honestly like for the past couple months, I was like, oh, I think I'm going to get back on that cut the hair train. I think I'm going to get back on the train. And then finally, um, my hair started to break in the middle, in the back. It just started to break off. 
And I was like, why is my hair breaking off? That's why, I don't know if you noticed, but I had started getting braids and stuff like that because I just could not understand why my hair was breaking off. Like, my hair has never broken all down the back, like, right here. It'll break here because this is my little part of my hair where that's kind of weak and anything that happens it does break here but it started to travel like down the back and then I started to think and I was like you know what I think it's because when I do my braids like to go under my weight I go part right down the center and probably the tension um of those braids broke off down the back of my head right so um I was like okay I'm just gonna let it grow out or whatever but then I was like you know what I'm going to go back short. I love being short. I love this. I love. I also loved when my hair was natural and I would just put those little tiny, what we call tiny bumps in the, in the Caribbean. You guys call them bantu knots. I would put like a few bantu knots here and have just like a little short mohawk in the middle. I loved that style too. So I was like, you know, I just love short hair. Let me just go back short. So yesterday I went and cut all of my hair off. Do you guys like it? Please sound off in the comment section. If you like my hair short, what you thinking? You know, I'm still relaxed, obviously. I, I will continue to be relaxed. Being relaxed is... Uh, for me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I really like being natural too, but I think I prefer... You know, now that I'm back to being relaxed, I really just think I prefer being relaxed. And I think part of the problem is that we were never really taught how to maintain our hair when we were younger. So now that we're adults and we're trying to maintain natural hair, it's just really complicated. It's just really, really complicated. You know, it's not as easy as everyone thinks. You know, I also don't have the time in the day to be deep conditioning a head full of hair all day long. You know, and then going in and sectioning here to do that and um, twist out. And I just I just couldn't do it anymore. Um, so I just can't. Now, with my hair being short, I can still always put on a wig if I'm really feeling like getting long hair. Only thing I can't do is probably braids, um, you know, but that's all good. I mean, it's not a big fat deal. I love braids, but my hair is going to grow back. You know, it's going to grow back. But to be honest, I don't know if I want it to grow back that long. Maybe just long enough to get braids. Maybe that's it. Um, but, you know, I love the pixie cut. Um, I will continue to wear the pixie cut as long as I want. Because <laughs> like I said to you guys in my relaxed video, it's hair. Do whatever you want. Don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, you shouldn't do that because blah, blah, blah. Do what you want to do. It is hair. It's going to grow back unless you have some kind of chronic illness that makes your hair not grow or you're on some type of medication. Your hair is going to grow back. Do not be afraid. Your hair is going to grow back. Okay. Um, I go to a stylist here in Miami. Her name is Char. Her Instagram is Char's Hair Museum. She's here um, in South Florida. If you're here in South Florida, that's who I went to. Um, they do really good hair in there. And Char is the one, the owner that did my hair. So shout out to her. Okay, shout out to Char. Um, and she actually, I actually went in wanting like a way longer cut on the top. And she was like, sis, your hair is all broken back here. We can't do that. If we cut it too low here, it's going to look stupid with that big long piece in the front. And I was like, you know what? Fine. Do whatever you want. I don't care. And this is what we got. Um, it, it hangs down just a tiny bit more, but I have it back because I'm doing my makeup right now. But um, yeah, so as it grows out, we're going to transition into that long... Uh, that long front that I wanted. And then, um, you know, it'll be the desired length that I wanted it in the front. But again, this is something that I've always done. You know, I've always had short hair for a, a, my, a long amount of years. The first time I got a short haircut, I completely shaved the back when I was younger, like completely, I was still in high school completely shaved the back um it wasn't like a you know just a little bit like right now it's kind of completely shaved but i'm talking shaved back then 
like you know i was young so i had like designs and all that kind of stuff i even think wearing short hair makes me look younger like you know i'm gonna be 40 this year <laughs> i don't know if i've ever talked about my age before but i'm gonna be 40 this year so in my mind i feel like 21 still <laughs> i don't even feel like i'm gonna be 40 it's the weirdest thing ever but yeah i'm gonna be 40 this year if i haven't said that already and i'm excited about it you guys like to me being 40 is i don't know being in your late 30s 40s especially if you're on a path where like you know you have kind of lived a lot of your life you've experienced the good the bad you know maybe you're in your career career field or you're successful at the whatever business that you choose to run or own or whatever you know, to me, this is like the best time. This is the age limit where you could just, who, who gonna who gon check me? Like, I'm at that age, like, mama can't check me. Daddy can't check me, you know. My hubby, you know, he got a little say-so or whatever. You know, I'm gonna respect them. But, you know, for the most part, nobody can check you. You know, nobody can check you. You've made all the mistakes. You know what I mean? And it's like, I just feel like this is a good time, like, to be alive. You know, our age is so amazing. But, um... You know, uh, that's it. Like, that is it. That is it. I already started my makeup before I got on here. I don't know. What else can we talk about? What else can we talk about? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to finish my... Um, oh, one thing I can't talk about. I can tell you guys. Last night was a struggle, okay? I ain't gonna tell y'all like I really didn't know what to do with this hair last night. It was so beautiful. I'm gonna po I'm gonna post. Actually, I'm not gonna excuse me. My thumbnail should be like as soon as I left the hair salon. Um, my thumbnail should be that. If not, then sorry. Um, and I'm not editing this video. I can't edit this video. Where is my bronzer, you guys? Where is my bronzer? Oh found it <laughs> i can't edit this video i really need to fix my laptop like i need to get my life together seriously um but like i was saying you'll see how it really looked when i first left the salon the hair the curls were so pretty um one day maybe i'll come back and do a video like as soon as i leave the hair salon so you can see exactly like how she curls it the wave pattern like you can't really see it now but she curled it where it looked like I had soft finger waves all over. Oh, my God. It was to die for. When I was leaving the hair salon, all the ladies were like, oh, my God. Your hair is so pretty. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what it sounded like in my head anyway. Um, but I tell you, going to sleep with this haircut was like, what do I do? When I got ready to go get in the shower, I was like, what do I do? I sat there for a minute. Like, I don't remember this part of the short hair game, you know? I just did not remember it. So, um, what I did was I kind of pushed it back in the front like this. I took my silk headscarf and I just wrapped it around, around, like, all the way around the edges, over the top of my ear. And then I put my shower cap on over it loosely um, because you don't want to have, like, a tight... Uh, a tight uh what is it shower cap because what happens is you start to trap any little moisture that you get in there and it makes your curls fall so then after that what i did was i um to open the bathroom door as i showered i just opened the bathroom door so that you know my rest of my house could take the steam instead of the bathroom <laughs> instead of the bathroom so you know keep the steam out uh not so no it doesn't keep it all the way out but at least it doesn't build up and like really suffocate my hair so it wasn't like it didn't feel that high maintenance or anything but that's just what i did um and then when i got out i immediately um took off all of that and just let my hair breathe and then when I went to sleep, I slept on a silk, um, silk, silk, silk pillowcase, excuse me. I slept on a silk pillowcase and I just 
didn't tie it up. I didn't tie it or anything. Um, uh, she suggested that I do it that way. Another girl that I do know that has a short haircut right now suggested the same thing. I was like, are you serious? So don't wrap this? Like, are you kidding me? How am I supposed to like keep the curls? And they were like, if you wrap it, you're going to screw the curls up. So I was like, okay, fine. So that worked out really well. Um, but you have to, I already had a bunch of satin pillowcases because, you know, from being natural, I still had them. Um, but yeah, I really love this hairdo, you guys. Like, I'm so infatuated with it. You have no idea. I have to say, like, for me, I feel my most confident and my most beautiful when my hair is this short. I feel like, what, what? Like, you, you, like, girl, I'm the baddest right now, you know? Like, that's just the way I feel, you know? I don't feel... Like, some people, when they cut their hair, they feel a little bit insecure. I don't. I love my hair short. I love the look. I love the, just everything about it. I just, the ease of maintaining a short hairdo. I mean, it's just, could you believe I got up this morning and I did nothing? I did nothing. I, you know what I did? I put a little bit of gel right here and right here, you know, because it was like smushed and I just wanted to kind of curve it a little bit again like she had it. But other than that, I did absolutely nothing. I did nothing. The top I woke up, it was like this. Like I could say I woke up like this. Well, not this makeup, but you know. Um, other than that, hold on, let me put my eyeliner on. Y'all know I need a look. A few seconds of silence for that, okay? I hope this liner actually goes on really good because I am using a like a this kind of like wet. Let me show you from Kat Von D. I got it on sale. It's called Taroso Gold. Um, it's a shadow. It's like one of those little moussey shadows, and I just was wondering. That's what I have on here already before I even turned on my camera. But the liner kind of went over it just fine. So that's perfect. I want to put lashes on today. Everything, girl, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so this 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 is perfect. This is perfect. Ah! <laughs> That's okay, I'll fix it. OMG. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect. I love this stuff. Kat Von D, why you going out of business? Don't let them rush you out. Let me put a little bit over that little dot that I made there. Let's see. Good as new. Do you see it anymore? Put a little bit more. Yeah, and let me put on the other side. Perfect, perfect. Now, I want to put lashes, but I'll do that off camera. But anyway, you guys, I'm really excited. I don't know if you could tell. I'm so happy to be back really, really short. Um, This is my look, you guys. I love it. I hope you guys do too. So you'll see more videos from me. Um, I'll do a dedicated video to how I maintain it how I shower, just to show you guys, like a visual aid of how I maintain my hair. I'm not going to do my under, 
with this because it's daytime and we don't want to look too stark. That's for those mystery eyes at night. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I'm going to go finish my makeup off camera. I'm not completely done. It's almost done, but not completely. But anyway, I hope you guys like my new look. I hope so. Look forward to short hair videos, still relaxed videos, how I maintain my relaxed hair, all that good stuff. I know this video was all over the place. I just wanted to share my excitement of having my new haircut and all this good stuff. So anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Mwah.